Photo shoots are an essential business investment, especially as a sex worker, because your appearance is so important to the job. That's just a fact. And because they're so important, they can be extremely intimidating to plan. But in this video, I'm going to outline my process of planning my photo shoots. I planned my most recent photo shoot in May of this year, and it's my favorite to date. It helps me attract my ideal clients. It represents my brand perfectly, and I want the same things for you. If you're wondering, who is this? I'm Layla Foss. I'm a professional companion. I've been in the adult industry since 2017. I regularly have multi-date dates. I have six figures of revenue and of income, and I get complimented by my peers about my amazing branding. So let's get into it. The first thing you need in order to have an amazing brand photo shoot is you need to have a brand and you need to know it. If you want a crash course on how to start branding yourself as a companion, I recommend the video that I'm linking to right now. The second thing that's important is finding a photographer that has an aesthetic and shooting style that you like and that aligns with your brand and your branding. Now, some photographers are more moody, some are more retro, some are more glamorous. You can look within the adult industry and people who shoot exclusively for sex workers, or you can look outside of it. I am not going to get into this. I'm not going to get into photographers that I prefer because it's a personal preference and what works for me and my brand is not necessarily going to work for you and your branding and your personality. We work with photographers differently, but I like photographers that shoot in natural settings and with natural light. And I've had amazing success with approaching photographers outside of the adult industry. So you don't have, a, have to limit yourself in that capacity. All right. The third thing is what the video is about. It's about planning the photo shoot. I like to use Canva to create a mood board slideshow to share with my photographer so they can understand what I'm aiming for. I like to start off with overall inspiration for the photo shoot and in the beginning of the mood board, this can be colors, this can be aesthetics, this can be graphics, this can be outfits, this can be locations, just an overview of the vibe of the photo shoot that I'm aiming for and then the photo shoot that you're aiming for. Another thing I start off with is my branding. I name my top five brand values, bolding the top three. I also use a few words that I want to describe the mood and the tone of the photo shoot. You can see that I chose relaxed and timeless luxury and beauty. I want it to be beautiful. I wanted beautiful photos, but nothing too edited or editorial or something that looks super pristine and fussy. I'm aiming for a high and GFE girl next door sort of vibe and I also wanted a little bit of a European summer flair to my photos. In my next slides I use inspiration images to convey how I want to portray my mood and how I want to portray those mood and vibes that I talked about earlier, the beauty, the timeless luxury. I believe it's okay to use other companions photos on a mood board as long as you are not explicitly copying their brand or recreating the images. You can see a few companion photos here like Rococo Royales, Madison Winters, Danny Carreras, Brooke Nichols images in my mood board, but I didn't recreate any of the photos on this mood board that belong to other companions in my photo shoot. I wanted the suggestion and the inspiration from those photos, but I explicitly did not recreate them. Looking at my mood board, you can see the stars. That means that I was inspired by the pose and I wanted to potentially recreate that pose. And just because you're using a pose as inspiration or a photo as inspiration does not mean that you are explicitly copying someone else. It would be explicitly copying someone else if you recreated their exact photo with that exact angle, with that lighting and that lingerie set. I think you're going to see that my photos from this photo shoot look vastly different from the photos of the other companions photos that I used for some inspiration. Other things I thought about for this photo shoot are locations. 
props and jewelry. I wanted to lay everything out, have a great plan for everything that I wanted to do, everything that I wanted to wear, everything I needed to buy. So it's really important to be super organized and have all those things put together if you're going to plan a photo shoot yourself. Another thing that I planned for my photo shoot is all of the outfits I was going to wear. Not only did I lay out what sorts of outfits and photos and jewelry that I was going to bring with me, I wanted to lay out exactly what things I was going to pair together, what exactly was the jewelry I was going to wear with each outfit, what exactly were the shoes I was going to wear with each outfit. Everything was very intentional together. Mind you, I didn't buy all new stuff or the majority of my stuff I did not buy new. I only planned on buying one lingerie set, but I ended up buying two because the first one I bought didn't seem like it was going to arrive on time. It came in the mail around two hours before I was set to leave on my plane for Serbia. So that is the reason I had two new lingerie sets. You don't need a bunch of new lingerie for your photo shoots. One thing I actually find that clients like is if you have lingerie and outfits in your photo shoots that you wear to dates. That's like a fantasy fulfillment for them. And I have clients who specifically ask me to wear things that I've worn in my photos on my website. Remember when choosing your pieces, your brand values, the vibe of the photo shoot they're going for and the locations you'll be shooting in because those can affect a lot the pieces that you choose. I know it appears like I have my shit all together, but if you have any additional tips for others of us in the industry or outside the industry for planning a photo shoot, please leave them in the comments below. We love a community that helps each other. If you want to begin our branding worksheet, sign up for my email list. The link to that is in the description below and on my website at eliteandunconventional.com. My website also has information about how to join an upcoming group mentorship program or how to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more of me, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.